Hello, good morning. Okay, someone is here. Do you hear me? We're going to wait around five minutes before we begin. Welcome to my house. So please, if you have a block and a strap or just a cloth, so you can do the practice, that would be nice. Hello, Nadine. Some people joining already. I'm super excited to be here. And uh, I'm going to put some music if you if you don't listen well to my voice, please tell me and I will just turn the music down and you can put music there. And as I was saying, if you have a block and a strap, that will be good. And as we wait five minutes to begin, uh, please sit down in Sukhasana or any comfortable posture and just either bring your palms to the center of your chest or relax your hands over your knees close your eyes and begin to breathe long and deep just allowing the air to come in and out and begin to feel as if you were inhaling through the base of the spine all the way up through your spine to the crown of the head and exhaling down, down, down through your spine back into the earth and keep breathing like this Beginning to focus the mind, to release tension with every breath. Notice if you have any space within your body where you find tension, and just try to allow the breath to relax those spaces. Receiving every breath as a gift. And please bring your hands to the center of your chest if they're not already there. Focus at the eyebrow point. And continue with your breath. Allowing the air to come in and out. As you inhale, allow your body to expand and grow. As you exhale, come back to your center. And take a moment to bring all the attention to the center of your chest 
Let's breathe together through this center. Feeling that sense of connectedness to each other. Feeling that connection with the planet and with all beings in the planet. That place within each of us that is pure light. That is the same in each of us. Take a few breaths, feeling that connection. From this place, we will begin the practice. Inhale, raise your arms up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, stretch to your left side. And continue moving. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, stretching to the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, stretch to the left. And one more time to each side. Now please stay on your left side. Bring your left hand close to your leg and press so your right seat bone comes to the ground. Inhale. Exhale, stretch until the tips of the fingers of the right hand. Move your breath to your right side. And breathe long and deep here. Opening the space in the side of the body. Connecting to your breath. As you move, and take one more breath here. Now inhale, both arms up. Exhale, stretch to the other side. Your right hand close, comes close to your body. Inhale, press with your right hand so your left seat bone comes to the ground. Exhale, reach far, far, far with the left hand. Continue inhaling and exhaling through your left side. Opening the space between the ribs. Using your breath to relax, release. One more breath here. And now inhale both arms up. Exhale, lower your arms as you twist your right side. Your right hand comes close to your sacrum. Inhale, inhale, elongate the spine and grow. 
Exhale, go a little bit deeper in the twist. Notice your breath. Balance the inhale and the exhale. Balance the energy within you. Now inhale, come back to center, stretch the arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Left hand, thumbs close to your sacrum. Inhale as you grow. Exhale as you twist. Keep remembering the drishti, that's where you focus your eyes, the awareness on your breath. One more breath here. And now inhale, both arms up. Exhale hands in front of you and come into your hands and knees and begin to move between cat and cow inhaling as you bring your tailbone up opening your chest exhaling in cat touching the spine up move with your breath and just allow your body to Begin to awake, to be awake. Keep the focus, the drishti, in the eyebrow point. If any thought comes to your mind, just go back to the awareness in your breath. Come back to the presence in your body. Now inhale, hold the breath in. Exhale, walk forward with your hands and move your hands as far away from you as you can and stretch the spine. And come back up. Bring your right foot to the front. Hands over your leg, align your knee with your heel. And feel the stretch in the back leg. Activate your abdomen and breathe here. Allow your hips to soften, to relax. your pelvic floor active. Now bring your hands under your shoulders, knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhaling Cobra. Exhale in down dog. And begin to bend and stretch your knees here. Move the weight forward and backward. Take 
and sit within the posture for a few seconds. And then go to the center and find stillness in the posture. Breathe long and deep, allowing the air to come in and out. Now, keeping the ball of the feet where, where they are, move both heels to the right, and then move back your hips back and up. Breathe here long and deep. Now in your left side to stretch a little bit more. And come back to center and then move both heels to the left. And press back with your right hip. And come back to center. Take a few breaths there. And step forward with your left foot. Right knee to the ground. And rise up. Hands over your left leg, align your heel and your knee. And allow your hips to relax. Activate your pelvic floor. Find your breath again. Balancing the inhale and the exhale. Inhale, exhale, hands under your shoulders, move your left leg back, exhale here. Inhale, knees, chest and chin to the ground, elbows towards your torso. Now, inhale in cobra. And exhale in your hands and knees. In your knees together at the center. And take a few breaths here. Now inhale, stretch your left leg back. Exhale, bring your knee towards your chest, head towards your knee. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bring your knee to the outer part of your right arm. Inhale back. Exhale, come into center and continue. Move with your breath. A few more repetitions. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, hold the breath in. Exhale, lower your right leg. And sit down in Batrasana and stretch your arms forward. And breathe long and deep there. Keep your buttocks close to your heels. And if you need, you make you can make fists with your hands and place your fists under your forehead. If you need more space to breathe. Find balance in your breath. The dogs are human. <laughs> what happens when you come to practice in my house? A few more breaths here. Come up again into your hands and knees. And continue with the other leg. So, knees together at the center. Inhale, stretch your left leg back. Exhale, come into the center. Inhale, stretch. And I'll continue as I take my own dog out. Inhale, stretching back. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, stretching back. Exhale, out. In this posture, the breath is stronger because we're looking to activate the body with the breath, with the movement. A few more repetitions. Inhale back. Exhale, come into Vajrasana. And then child's pose. And again, use your fist under your forehead if you need. And breathe long and deep there. Take a few breaths. Balancing the inhale and the exhale. Keeping the mind focused with your breath.
Continuum comes back into the dirt and knees. Remove your right leg forward. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your left toes on the ground. And stretch the back leg. And try to square your hips so both hips are looking forward. Try to find space to open your chest. You may use blocks under your hands if you have two blocks. And just breathe here. Balancing the inhale and the exhale. Keep your pelvic floor active and keep the right leg reaching back and the back leg reaching forward. So there's just like a scissoring movement between your legs. And just breathe there. to find space within your body to go deeper into your breath. And that's my dog knocking the door, so she wants to come in. Yes, keep breathing. Few more breaths here. Keep pressing the ground. Activating your legs. Inhale. And as we exhale, bring your knee to the ground. Your right heel comes forward a little bit. And walk back with your left leg. And now, move your torso forward. And allow your head to relax over your fists or just in the ground, whatever is more comfortable for you. If you're having problems to breathe or you're too Stress, maybe you want to keep your fists under your forehead so you have more space in the chest area. Use your breath to relax any tension. So the attention goes inward giving you this space to feel what you're feeling without fighting it. Giving space for yourself just to be as you are. A few more breaths here. And now bring your hands under your shoulders. Tuck your left toes on the ground. Torso up. And stretching child's pose for a few seconds. I'm trying to ignore my dog. Please do the same with me. A few breaths there, stretch it. 
And come into your hands and knees again. Bring your left leg forward. And then your heel with your knee. Tuck your toes back. And stretch your right leg. And activate your pelvic floor. And begin to breathe. Balancing your breath, allowing your breath to grow little by little, opening your chest, and of course if you need, you might bring your knee back to the ground, if you can just keep the back leg stretched. Notice every inhale, every exhale. Feel your legs press in the ground. Inhale, and exhale, your knee towards the floor, left heel towards your pubic bone, and walk back with your right foot, and then stretch forward. And either make fists with your hands and place them under your forehead or stretch down completely into the ground. Breathe long and deep there. Notice your breath. Allow your breath, little by little, to be a flow between the inhale and the exhale. Slowly place your hands under your shoulder. Inhale, stretch it up. And as you exhale, bring your knees close to your hands. Place the balls of the feet on the ground. Take a few breaths here. Now stretch your legs up and breathe in Uttanasana. You may grab your elbows with your hands or place the hands on the ground, whatever is more comfortable for you. If you have tension, 
your neck you may use this weight of placing your hands in your elbows to release And again, find balance between the inhale and the exhale. Two more breaths here. And bend your knees. And slowly come all the way up to standing. Breathe there in, in Tadasana. As your feet keep distance apart, keep your chest open. Allowing the breath to come in and out. And as you inhale, move the breath through your feet, your legs, your spine. Feel the crown of the head. As you exhale, move your breath down through your spine, your legs, your feet, back into the air. Do this a few more times with each breath. Just allow yourself to be sit down so you can see me but you can do it standing up and bring the tips of the fingers to the base of the fingers open your thumb to the sides and begin with Bastrika or breath of fire if you know it and if you don't know it just bring your breath to your lower abdomen and inhale as your abdomen comes out exhale as it's as your abdomen comes in. Try to keep your eyes closed. Focusing at the eyebrow point and feel your legs pressing the ground. So stay grounded as you breathe a few more seconds. Thank you. 
inhale, bring your thumbs together up, stretch the fingers, pull the breath in, stretch as much as you can, apply Mula Bandha if you know it, exhale, lower your arms to the sides, and again, breathe there in Tadasana. Inhaling as you expand. Exhaling as you come back to your center. So you're like a star. Inhaling. Exhaling. Few more breaths there. Toes on the ground and come into Adamukha Svanasana. And find your breath there. Keep your legs are tense, keep your knees bended and focus on stretching the spine. But keep reaching down with your heels. And if they don't touch the ground, we always want to pay more attention to the spine. So we want to keep elongating the spine. And keep your abdomen up even if you are too flexible. You have a lot of flexibility. Be aware that you're not moving your pelvis forward too much, so try to bring your ribs together, keeping the abdomen active to protect the lower back, moving your elbows away from the ground. And balance between the inhale and the exhale, between what you give and what you receive. Few more breaths here. And you'll slowly move your knees to the ground. Lay down on your abdomen. Stretch your arms back. And take a few breaths there. Your pelvis at the center. Notice your breath in the back side of your body. 
expanding as you inhale, coming back to center as you exhale. Now place your hands under your shoulders, bring your shoulders in external rotation, bring your elbows towards your torso, move to the side so your pubic bone is in contact with the ground, activate your abdomen, reach back with your feet, and inhale as you come up into cobra. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Beware of not compressing your buttocks as you move. Balancing your breath. And now, next time you come up, bring your forearms to the ground. Align your elbows with your shoulders and press with your hands into the ground. Activate your abdomen, bringing your ribs together to protect the lower back. And breathe here. Inhale, hold the breath in, and exhale, relax down. And just allow your body to relax completely on the ground. Feeling each part of your body that is touching the ground. Few more breaths here. And now place your hands by your ribs. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, sit down in Vajrasana. Open your knees to the sides. You may use a block between your feet. Inhale, coming up, opening your arms. Exhale, moving your hands down and bowing forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, move down. Inhale, recharge. Exhale, release. Move at your own rhythm. And 
now the inhale and the exhale to balance. One more repetition. a strap, use a strap between your hands behind you, or if you can interlace your hands behind your back, move your shoulders back in external rotation, open your chest, and slowly bend forward, and move your hands far from your lower back, as far as you can. And breathe long and deep there. Shavasana for the relaxation. And I'm gonna guide you through the relax. Please lay down on your back. Find a comfortable position, maybe placing a cushion or a blanket under your knees. And just relax your arms by your sides. Allow your feet to just relax to each side. And begin to notice your breath. Begin to make your Exhale twice as long as your inhale, just longer than your inhale. Number 
want to settle all the energy we move. Begin to mentally check your entire body. To use your exhale to relax any tension you have. Let's allow the earth to take care of you and trust do a few more breaths like this making the exhale longer than the inhale then release any control over the breath. Just allow the breath to happen. Allow your body to surrender and release it more with each breath. Oh, 
Begin to make circles with your hands and your knees. Stretch back and to the sides. Rub your hands and your feet. Come into any comfortable seated position, either in Vajrasana, Sukhasana, or Siddhasana. Make sure you have some something to allow yourself to keep your spine elongated. You may also sit down in a chair if you are more comfortable. And place your hands in Jian Mudra over your knees with your index finger and thumb together. Close your eyes. And bring all your attention to your forehead for the meditation. And inhale, allowing the air to come in, move the attention to your forehead, to your mind, and to the deepest, deepest part, and exhale through your forehead, as if you were releasing all the clutter from your mind. And inhale through your nostrils to your eyebrow point, to the center of your forehead, to the center of your mind. Hold. Exhale, releasing all the clutter, all the noise from your mind. 
And let's do this three more times. Inhaling through your nostrils to the eyebrow point, to the center of your forehead, to the center of your mind. Exhale through your nose, releasing all the clutter, all the noise from your mind. Inhale through your nostrils to your eyebrow point, to the center of your forehead, to the center of your mind. Exhale, releasing all the clutter. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And now move both hands to the center of your chest. Move your breath to that point. We're going to put the Gayatri Mantra for eight minutes. If you know it, you may chant it with us. This is a version from Manuel. As you can meditate in silence. Oh, 
I hope it didn't bother you too much and hope to see you soon. Please stay strong during these times. These are moments to stay together and to really, really do our best to be there for each other. And just as good, just as you are trying to bring the best of you and just maybe share a smile or something to keep the spirit up. I know many of, of you are not going through good times, but we are grateful for what we have. And we are grateful if we can, be, can stay healthy and have just food in our homes and everything just Please keep your prayers with people that are not doing well during these times. Please keep your prayers to people that are allowing us to have food in our houses and just taking care of people that are not feeling well in these moments. So your energy is needed in this world. So please raise it, raise it, raise it as much as you can. Thank you very much for joining me, joining us, and let's practice together next week. See you soon. Bye. Okay. Let me...